What's up guys, I am back and in this video I'm gonna show you the best Siri shortcuts, around 20 of them. These make your phone way more customizable and fun to use, so I will link all of them down below the like button in the description. You can check them out from there. Now a few of these actually focus on Safari, so the very first one is actually a dark mode for Safari. So inside of Safari, click on the share button, click on shortcuts and from here select Safari dark mode. When you do so, it goes through the process of loading it. From there, make sure you click on allow and you're done. It turns your web page in this dark mode so all your text is now white but all the white background is actually black now the next one is called tilt scroll it uses a gyroscope sensor so if you're holding the phone at a certain angle it'll automatically scroll through the web page depending on what angle you're holding the phone on so it's pretty great it just does it all automatically so when you run it you can see it's automatically scrolling through your web page it's really great now shortcuts also have this widget so you can access them right through here and it makes it easier to use now one of them is actually called a calculator so if you want to just go through the calculator app just click on here and you have a quick calculator up your sleeve and i think it's really great but the next one is even better it is called sound machine and it has this list of all these sound effects you can play and prank your friends with so i think it's really great just click on the sound you want and it'll make it and i think it's great now the next one is called water eject so say you drop your phone in water and other speakers are a little muffled the sound is not good just click on it and it'll shoot all the water out of your speakers and clean it up and the sound will be back to normal and i think it's really great so the next one is called drunk siri siri talks in this drunk and slow voice making it funny a quick little gig for you guys you can change the language the accent and all that stuff and i think it's great now the next one is called pronunciation so when you click on it just click on OK and you'll be redirected to the shortcuts application. Inside of here, say you're not able to pronounce a particular word, just enter it right here, click on done, select the pitch and the language and from there just click on done and you're good to go. It'll just automatically pronounce that word for you. The next one is called iDraw. It's pretty simple. It's a quick little drawing board for you guys. Just change a brush, the color, and you can just do it. Just draw anything, click on done, and from here, you can either save it or upload it anywhere you want directly from here. The next one is for all those iPhone users that hate the notch and want to hide it. Click on better notch one, and the area around the notch will be darkened to make it disappear. The next one is called Fade My Music and it is one of the best. When you click on it, say you're listening to music and you fall asleep and the sound wakes you up later on. So you want to fade the music using a timer, just click on here, enter the amount, the time, click on OK and after a while your music volume will come down and it'll just fade away and eventually shut off. The next one is called Cedia Alternate. So when you click on it, you have the option to either visit Todo App, Tweakbox or App Valley for downloading all those tweaked applications. The next one is called Share Location. So when you click on it, it automatically shares your location to all your emergency contacts. The next one is called Always On Display. You need OLED X application from App Store for this. But when you click on it, you have an Always On Display with the time, battery percentage, date, and all that stuff. And it's really great. Now the next one is my all time favorite. Say you're watching a video on YouTube or any other site and you want to download it without using a third party application, just click on share, click on the shortcuts and from here select download. When you do so, it'll automatically just start downloading the video. You can see getting contents right through the URL. Now depending on your Wi-Fi connection and the size of the video, it might take some time but it downloads the video in the highest available quality. You can obviously just alter that and download in lower settings but that's our choice. From here you have the option to share or save. When you click on save, just go back to your photos and the video will be already there. So I'm gonna go here, click on photos and the video right popped in, you can see. Just play it and the video will be intact and the entire video will be downloaded right through that particular site and it's really cool. The next one turns your pictures into a GIF. So you wanna turn a picture into a GIF, just select the picture, click on the share button from there, run the shortcut called convert photos to GIF and once that's done, your picture will be a GIF. Now the next one is called Super Control Center. You can actually access it right through the widget. When you click on it, you have all these extra options instead of your normal control center. The next one is called Sleep Mode. So when you click on it, it lowers down the brightness of the screen to like 10% and just turns the volume down and makes a sleep mode for your phone. It's really cool. Though it leaves the net on. So when you click on this next one called Super Low Power Mode, 
it just turns off your Wi-Fi and your internet connection, all that stuff, and puts your phone in this DND mode to save battery as much as it can. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All the links will be in the description. Give this video a big thumbs up. Until then, peace.